Hey yo, what is up? Uh, I'm back and I got my new pad and here it is. Uh, we're going to the website to show you this brand, ESP Tiger. It's been around um, for quite a long time. Uh, this brand of mouse is, uh, sorry, this brand of mouse pads, ESP Tiger is like a huge company. They look like a huge company because they have endless supply of mouse pads and they've got all kinds of designs uh, all kinds of materials all kinds of hardness all kinds of colorways uh, it is just huge but i got the latest one and it's this one this is a i think this is an old pad with a new colorway uh, it comes with blue orange and uh, I think the other one is purple and the purple one looks like uh, looks like that um, I got it off Mac keys and it took about 15 days for them uh, from the time I ordered it to the time it got delivered to my house um, these are some of the other new pads that just released in the same time uh, that I ordered mine and have it delivered in the last 15 days I mean I ordered this new pad as soon as they launched it and um, this is what came out after that this is a six millimeter what I ordered was a four millimeter with a uh, rubber base and this came out I think a couple of days after this is a six millimeter thick with a poron base um, very interesting uh, but this is a lot more expensive $50 and then a couple of days later another one came out this is a uh, in a blue colorway also with poron bases very interesting this is a incredible mouse pad company uh, as you can tell I've, I'm already using an ESP Tiger but this is an older model called um, um, Grandmaster Ling and uh, this is more of a Raiden artisan raiden kind of like a uh, clone very smooth surface very quick uh we'll go to the last pad that just came out this one is called uh king sui yashing mouse pad this is the cheapest of the lot it's only 29 dollars probably um 30 dollars i mean shipped i think it's about 40 dollars really nice vibrant red there's also a black one uh, i like the red I was thinking about ordering this one as you can tell the stitching is below the surface uh, and the surface looks a lot like a um, artisan zero there is no picture of the base so maybe there is some kind of inferior base going on I'm not too sure uh, I wish they showed the bottom of the base I really thought I wanted to order this but anyway I wanted to show you how the packaging came it took two weeks to arrive and and here it is a huge box it is shipped uh, flat packed pretty good looking I'm gonna open it off camera because uh, there are two cameras right here and uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna knock some of the cameras over if I attempt to open it on uh, on camera but uh, let me just open this off camera and I'll skip this part fast forward and I'll bring you the open item all right again here it is uh, a little bit more manageable size but still extremely huge um, for the camera to pick up um, as you can tell it's huge I can't have it on the table so I'm just going to open it up and then present it on uh, the table after I've opened it all right so here it is I unpacked it and this is what it looks like let me get the mouse out of the way a vibrant blue color and this is the new ESP Tiger uh, Tang Dao now my first impression is this is another um, this is another artisan zero clone but I like this base better this is not a pour on base this is not a sticky base uh, I have mentioned previously why I don't like the 
poron base. Well, I don't say I don't want to say I don't like it, but I prefer the rubber base. And this has a stitching uh, that is lower than the surface of the pad. Let me remove the older mouse pad without trying to knock, without knocking over the cameras. Uh, this is a very good pad as well. The old um, ESP Tiger Grandmaster Ling. And there you go. This is the Tangdao in blue. Lays flat on the table because it was shipped flat. Um, my first impression is it's uh, it's cloth. It is very much like very much like a artisan zero. Uh, different feeling, not exactly the same, but in terms of uh, the speed, I think this is this is faster than an artisan zero, one hundred percent, because an artisan zero is really slow in my opinion. Uh, and if I'm being honest, I prefer this over an Artisan Zero. Uh, but this is definitely not an Artisan Zero. Um, doesn't... Oh my god, I already blemished it. I already... Anyway, uh, this is not an Artisan uh, Zero kind of performance. It, although it... I think it's trying to be a quicker artisan zero uh, this is definitely fast it is faster than a uh, Odin infinity it's faster than it's faster than Hayate Otsu and uh, if I'm gonna say the soft the softness uh, this is a rubber base but it is not your typical hard rubber base this is kind of a softer rubber base and i like this rubber base a lot a lot more than poron uh this i would say compared to poron i would say this is a soft and not an extra soft because the extra soft is a lot plushier than this i would say this is soft uh the blue is vibrant uh very nice color very nice blue um and it's quick that's my first impression it is very quick i'm interested to see how this is going to perform uh it is a lot 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 quieter than an artisan zero or an uh, artisan hayate otsu hayate otsu with uh, the g pro super light version 2 it's very noisy this one is very quiet so i can feel like uh I'm gonna like this very much but uh, you know we'll find out what happens uh, yeah just from touching it I've already left some kind of blemish or some kind of mark with my fingers with my sweat uh, with moisture on my fingers there's some dust maybe that I've tried to push away and it's rubbed into the pad itself so i don't know how this thing handles dirt and stuff like that but there you go the branding is on the side esp tiger um if you put it upside down it's going to be on that corner which is pretty cool because uh you know it's on a it's in a position where if you place it upside down it'll still look kind of like a readable and acceptable position so you can play this pad in any kind of position you want actually uh yeah so this is my first impression i i really like it uh i wish i had the orange one to show you because the uh one of the reasons why i got rid of the artisan zero orange was because of the color itself i was kind of disappointed with the orange color it did not it was not a vibrant orange it looked really good on camera but in real life the artisan orange was more like a peach uh, the edges were very orange but the 
you know the pad itself it was not really orange it was in certain lighting conditions it looked like peach and uh, you know I didn't like that I, I wanted a vibrant orange color so I wish I'd ordered the orange one just to show you the comparisons but I'm very happy with the the, the way the blue looks it is uh, something different and uh, I'm curious to see what the performance is going to be like. I'm going to do a follow-up video after I use this for about seven days and then I can tell you exactly what I feel about this pad. But at the moment, this is my first impression, the new um, ESP Tiger. Go check it out. I'll leave a link for you guys uh, from the Mac Keys shop if you want to pick one up. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this mouse pad was $39. Um, I think it's about probably 50 shipped and um, it, it is definitely up there with uh, artisan quality. It is definitely up there with the best quality mouse pads. This company knows how to make mouse pads. Anyway, um, I'll follow up a week later and uh, I'll see you then. Ciao.